Do you think it's harder for entrepreneurs now than it was 15 years ago? Or do you think it's, different? it's both harder and easier? It's easier because there's so many more sources of capital at the early stage, you know, mm-hmm. pre seed. They keep doing this a lot because all the new words. <laughs> no, I, I, um, maybe I can throw what's Trump's new word. I've forgotten it already that he tweeted. Maybe that works. Into the, <laughs> you know, the, the reporters. Um, there's more sources of capital, there's pre seed, there's seed. There's seed that continues on and basically becomes A. There's oversized seeds. There's undersized A's. But there's a lot more competitive landscape. So the way I look at it is it's far easier to get into the business of being an entrepreneur than it's ever been before mm-hmm. and far harder to stay in it and succeed. Mm. The technology makes it easy. You know, what cost me, you know, when I took Fashion Well Public, we had these quarter of a million dollar racks sitting at the knock at AT&T paying them thousands of dollars a month for bandwidth. The minute I took that company public, I shoved it all into a $99 colo and nothing changed. Because in the time period it took to build that up from 93 to 99, the technology so far eclipsed us, you didn't need it. Well, AWS, phenomenal resource, ridiculously expensive, you know, makes everything easy right from the beginning. And every, there's an AWS for everything. There's a SaaS for everything. You don't want to have to worry about credit card processing. Someone will do that. When I started Fashionable, we had to hardwire a credit card processor to our system in order to be able to run a credit card. Oh right? my God. Fashion swiper, push in a number for the thing. So, you know, everything is easier on the tech. It's easier to get to the money. That doesn't mean everybody will get it. You still have to earn it. You still have to be the right, you know, I always say I need five things to make an investment. It still holds true. People, 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 a great idea and a huge market if it works. Hmm. Those things have to be true for me and for most, I think certainly all in and in the but, but the, Problem is, so I used to be in the menswear business. Mm-hmm. Also, one of the easiest businesses in the world to get into. I took two shirts to a tailor. I had to mix up some pieces. I had a sample. I went into a store and I said, would you buy this? They said, yes, I had it made. Very easy to get into. Anybody with scissors and string, or at least access to a tailor and 20 bucks in their pocket can make a sample. But try to survive, because those department stores will eat you alive. Markdown money, maintain margin, advertising, co-op, right? So it's the same thing. Easy, easy, easy to get in. Hard, hard, hard to make it through to the promised land of that real, true, traditional round of funding. And even more importantly, the success that your company needs to create to earn it over and over and over again. Because at the end of the day, let's face it, the funding itself is a stepping stone to an unknown destination. Your goal is that it's a stepping stone to, you know, Valhalla. Val, Valhalla. 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 I was getting yep. Nirvana. I'm going to make a Trump word up. It's the combination of Nirvana and Valhalla. Put it all together. Valhalla. <laughs> That's the journey. But you also could end up, like someone said this to me once, Ben, I don't mind funding a bridge. I just don't want to fund a pier. Mm. You never know which one it is. So everybody has the same great goals in life when they're being an entrepreneur. But at the end of the day, the real true measure is the success on the other side. And that is just harder and harder all the time, competitive landscape. And we could spend an hour just on all the things that make entrepreneurship hard. Because <laughs> they're an unlimited. <laughs> There's a lot of suck. There's a lot of suck as an entrepreneur. Um, 